Hey guys, how you doing? This is Henry and Jose, and uh, Merry Christmas. I just wanted to put this blog today, and I'm uh, hoping to, uh, I want to give this as a gift to you. I believe this is a, uh, um, I believe it's a powerful message that I'd like to be able to share with you, because I tell you what, one of the things, you know, with the holidays coming up, I know we're, you know, we're, we're everybody's busy running around trying to get ready for Christmas here, and, um, you know, I'll tell you, this has been a great year for knowledge and learning. I wouldn't say it's been a, the best year for me, if anything, when it comes to business and finances and things like that. It's been one of the toughest years, but at the same time, it's been such a blessed year for me because of everything that I've learned, especially in the last six months, more specifically in the last two months alone. It's been like a light bulb came on and just, just a major... Um, a paradigm shift, you know. But today, what I want to do is I want to give you guys, uh, I would say it's probably one of the most ignored or hidden, uh, I would say secret, I hate to say secret, but uh, things that a lot of people have a tendency not to recognize that uh, how, how much of a, an effect and impact it has on them. You know, there's the saying that I've, I've heard from um, some of the leaders that I've gotten to know, not only online, but also offline in the last 20 years. And, um, and that saying is of being happy or being right. Sometimes you just can't have both, you know, and uh, it's in certain situations, you know. And there's, there's, certain, there's some of us that have a tendency to, 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 to um, insist that they have to be right all the time, that they'll never accept happiness unless they are right. And you know, you may agree with this or you may not, but I'll tell you one thing that I've, I've learned is that, you know, uh, that, the, that mentality sometimes can be a major hindrance in reaching your full potential. I remember when I was doing, you know, credit repair and mortgage and finances and talking to people about finances and their financial strategies or, or helping them. And there's people that I've talked to, they, they could have perfect, perfect credit and they have this one credit card or account that may only be a couple hundred dollars, but it's totally delinquent, might even be in collection. But they refuse, they refuse to pay it off so that it can repair their, their credit and improve themselves. But they refuse to pay it off a little amount because they insist that they are right and they wanna make sure that the company and everybody else knows about it. But really, unfortunately, all it's doing is hurting them. You know, especially when it's a small amount, you know, um, because they just insist, well, I know I'm right, I'm just not gonna let them do that to me, blah, 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 but not realizing that it's, they're doing it to them whatever it is that whoever's doing to them, uh, a negative impact on them because they're not willing to, to, to just let it go. You know, sometimes you have to get, just let go to, to become happy, you know? And um, I'll tell you, one of the things that I would encourage you to do, especially with the holidays, especially it's Christmas, and you know, this is the time where we kind of get around everybody, get around family, and this is supposed to be a happy time. But sometimes there's, maybe family members or friends that, uh, that we've had kind of bumped head with or we have an issue with about something, uh, you know, and, and it's created a wall or it's created this, this wall uh, in our heart. You know, one of the things I encourage you to do is let go, you know, and, and especially if it's been going on for years or whatnot, uh, sometimes it's just not worth the, the you know, worth holding on to that, you know, that issue or whatever it is, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to do that this year because there's one, one person or one couple that we have that with. And, um, uh, I've talked to my wife about that and I said, you know, it's time to just let it go, you know, because of this one little issue it has, you know, something to do just a couple words about the kids and all that. And this has been years and we're talking about best friends of ours her best friend and my best friends we both grew up with them uh and because of this one statement that somebody said and it created this whole wall in this last i would say five years and i'll tell you one of the things that i've learned is that you gotta let your mind and your heart be free 
to be able to achieve ultimate success, you have to have a free heart. You have to have a happy heart and a free mind. And uh, even if that one particular issue has nothing to do with what you're trying to accomplish, I strongly believe that you know that that one little wall that you've created in your heart is blocking a lot of other things, a lot of other successes and other relationships. And so I encourage you to to be open to that. You know, the other thing that also happens when you when you kind of carry a burden, you carry an issue in your heart and you never let it go, especially if it's never openly communicated and never openly discussed, is that you started you start creating stories in your in your in your heart and in your in your life. I'll tell you. I want to tell you a story and uh, you know, my greatest hero in my life is my father, my dad. And unfortunately, he passed away years ago, about uh, eight years ago or so. But he is my hero because he is an incredible person. He's a super positive guy, lover of people. He always does things for everybody. And and, um, and great guy, great people skills, funny. And, and he's got this incredible, incredible uh, ability to make people feel good. Except there's one thing he never did. And I believe it's what held him back from ever reaching his full potential. I, mean, I believe that if he had fixed this one attitude, he would have he would, he would have uh, succeeded a lot more in life. Now, he's a successful man in life. I wouldn't say he succeeded financially where he could have been because he never really got around some of the real uh, successful people like would had an opportunity to. But, you know, one of the things that I believe that held him back is that he had a tendency to hold on to some things. And I, and I remember we saw him age really fast because of an issue he had with one of his relatives and it was never discussed and it was never opened up and it was more of a hearsay and I'll tell you, I'll tell you the, the danger of that is that we, I, I, we saw him age so fast from the time that he, he heard about it and started thinking and I remember him he would just you know uh, wake up early drinking his coffee just thinking and I could just tell he's getting mad and he's creating this stuff in his mind and and I know that it was never openly discussed as far as I know I'm the youngest kid but I was still I was already in high school and stuff when this happened and I know it was never opened up it was not ever open ever settled and I think he went to his graveyard with that in his heart and it's it was sad you know and and as a matter of fact I mean I'll, I'll be honest with you it got so bad now here's a great man he's never done anything criminally anything bad in his life well I wouldn't say in his life but in his adult life um, and I mean it got to a point to where literally he figured out how to really wanted to hurt this people physically you know and my dad was a tough he was a boxer and everything else I know he could have done some real damage but I mean we had to literally move him out of town just to separate him and get his mind out out of, out of thinking that there's that issue and just to be able to put some distance between them but I'll tell you it's I believe it's one of the things that ever held him back from getting one more step further ahead in his success in his life you know and uh, so one of the things I really really encourage is that if there's somebody that you have not forgiven somebody that you you have to swall or have an issue with I highly suggest that you let go and ask for forgiveness. Yes, even if it's not your fault or you feel that it's not your fault, be the first to ask for that forgiveness and say, you know, you, I would even openly say, you know, I, I created this story, you know, there's this one thing that you said, and you know, honestly, it's been bugging me for the last so many years. I've created this wall that didn't really, you know, end up wanting. I mean, just open it up. Because I will tell you how how much of a burden will be lifted off your shoulder when you make that decision. How much would be lifted off from your shoulder? And I believe, I strongly believe that it would you know open up the uh, it would open up yourself for more success in 2011 because you have removed things that is blocking your heart from being totally open and being totally giving. And uh, I'll tell you, it's it's the toughest thing. I I learned that even in marriage, 
you know, the, one of my greatest heroes when it comes to marriages, one of the things that he always said is, you know what, whenever there's an issue in my in my marriage, you know, especially, you know, uh, uh, you know, as, as a man, I mean, one of the things that he even said was, as a man, I'm responsible for my household. And even if some, my wife does something wrong, I ask for forgiveness that I wasn't man enough to make sure that, you know, that doesn't happen. But, you know, the biggest thing that he, he used to say, if there was ever an argument, if there was ever an issue between him and his wife, is that he always takes the first step to ask for forgiveness. So just so that the tension would go down, and at the same time, the communication opens up more, and it gets resolved. If it doesn't get resolved, there's forgiveness in place. And, and I tell you, you know, with what's happening in the economy and everything else, it has tested me and my family, uh, me and my wife, uh, our relationship and our sanity and, and, and where we stand in our life. You know, I mean, all this financial success and, and all that is great, but there's nothing greater than success in life and in relationships. You guys, building a long-term success in our lives is all about relationships. But you can't have a true, a great relationship with everybody unless you let yourself be become open and be forgiving. So I hope that makes sense. You know, I mean, with the Christmas holidays, there might be an opportunity to be able to do something like that. Just imagine, especially if both of you feel that tension, how much of a relief that would be. Now, it may not come back the same. Maybe what the other party may not have the same attitude as you. That's okay. They may end up going overboard and be more negative or whatever. But, you know, bottom line is that let it go from your heart. And be, you know, don't be focused on being right. Focus on being happy. Because when you're happy, the blessings will pour down to you. And your happiness will just become, you know, become, uh, um, your happiness will be, um, what do you call it, will be spread, okay? And so I encourage you to do that, you know, I, I mean, I truly believe that's one of the most powerful principles of success that I've heard is that having a, having a forgiving heart and being, you know, picking happiness versus being right. When it comes down to, to that situation of having to pick between the two, pick happiness. Because being right but not being happy doesn't mean squat and doesn't hurt anybody except for you. Okay? Hopefully that helps you guys. You guys have a great Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. And we will talk to you next week. Okay? Talk to you soon. Have a great holidays. Celebrate with family. Enjoy. Don't eat too much. If you do, work out. And remember, for every four or five hundred calories on those those desserts, that's about a half hour or so of extra running or working out. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.